The journey that brought my mother's side of the family to America was not an easy one. Even though the trip proved difficult, my ancestors made a great sacrifice to help future generations lead better lives by coming to this country. My great-grandfather, Simon Magamian, known by my family as Papa, came to the United States from Armenia. He was forced to leave his wife, Elizabeth, and his two children, Christina and Garabed, who were both under six years old. At this time, the Turkish army was drafting for the war, and Papa was within the age limit to become a soldier. Papa used his brother's passport to get to America since his brother was too old to be drafted for the Turkish army. He arrived at Ellis Island in 1912 and stayed in New York. He found work and began sending money home, $20, every four months, before the Armenian massacre occurred. The third time he sent money, it was not received. Papa checked with the Red Cross and other organizations to find his family, but they could not be located. From 1914 to 1918, the Ottoman Empire and the Turks ravaged Papa's home country, and approximately half the Armenian population, 1.5 million people, died. My great-great-grandparents were most likely victims of this brutality. Mama was forced into a death march, and their two children died of starvation in the desert. As Papa told his children, the Turks took a bunch, about 25 persons at a time, about one hour from the city and killed them. Normally, the women and the children under seven or eight years old were not killed. The Turks wanted to kill the men first to rid themselves of the risk of Armenian resistance. The death marches were called relocations in order to get the Armenians out of the war zone. Armin Wegner, a German soldier, was so disturbed by what he saw that he secretly photographed what was happening so it could not be hidden. Decades later, when Hitler was about to repeat this, Wegner wrote to him, he reasoned with Hitler to leave the Jews alone, citing what he had witnessed firsthand. Hitler responded with, who now remembers the Armenians? In 1919, Papa received a postcard from his wife. By this time, he was living in Richmond, Virginia. His wife was in Beirut, Lebanon. Papa had a friend in Beirut, and he sent money to him to buy Mama a ship ticket to America. A cousin in Constantinople helped Mama get on the correct ship to America. About one month later, Mama arrived in Richmond, Virginia. After being separated for longer than seven years, they were finally reunited. Papa and Mama went on to have six more children, four girls and two boys. Christine, Virginia, Margaret, also known as Dolly, Rosie, Henry, and Simon Jr. were raised in Richmond, Virginia. Here, my grandfather talks about what life was like for him and his family when he was growing up. My father, uh... You no, know, did was a bread earner, bread earner, and uh, but uh, at one time uh, he had a uh, confectionery store in Richmond, and uh, it was about 1928 or so. And he went out and he was doing well. He had bought the house. He built three garages on the uh, back of the property. Went out and uh, he bought a car, even though my mother told him. Uh, she didn't think that he should at that time. But, uh, but anyway, he did all that. He incurred a little bit of debt, $1,000 or so. And then all of a sudden, the depression hit. And he, uh, he lost everything. He lost the house. He lost the garage. He lost the car. And so uh, economically, he was in very, very bad shape. And after my mother died, uh, you know, 10 years later or so, uh, what he did was he worked at various jobs. He uh, went back to tailoring and he sewed clothes and what have you. And in addition to that, uh, he'd go out and he'd sell wine in the evening to uh, earn a little bit more to uh, support the family. My grandfather went on to pursue a career in teaching. He got his bachelor's and master's degree in education. By 1963, he had received a Doctor of Education degree in Psychology and Measurement, and even played on the baseball team for College of William and Mary in 1952. In 1957, he met my grandmother, Patricia Murphy, and married her. They had five kids, one being my mother, Mary, the second oldest. Her siblings were Paul, Bob, Sharon, and Tim. My mother grew up in Mount Prospect, Illinois. She met my father, Thomas Grittani, in 1983 and married him soon thereafter. In 1989, my mother had her first child, my brother, Tim. Thirteen months later, I was born. 
Thanks to Papa and Mama's courage, they created the best possible future for their family. The extent of their sacrifice was not known at the time, but because of their bravery in coming to America, my family and future generations can lead the best lives possible.